video, I'm going to show you how to work between Zotero and Jenny AI. So if you have your Zotero collection built out with the different articles you want to use, but you want to write in Jenny AI, I want to show you how you can kind of move between those two platforms. Right now, they do not have an integration, so you can't pull from Zotero into Jenny AI. So I'm going to show you the workaround that you can use if you want to use both of these platforms and then how to do it as well to export. So if you're writing in Jenny AI, but you can't use one of their citation styles, you need a different one. I want to show you how to use Zotero to then export and redo all of those citations. So this is Jenny AI. I'm gonna start in my Zotero. So this is a um, collection that I've put together. And there's two ways now that you can add these into Jenny AI. The first one is you can add the PDFs. So if I already have a lot of PDFs within my Zotero, I can come up to File and I can click Export PDFs. And then in my downloads, I'm gonna create a new folder and this is gonna be my Zotero PDFs and I can click select folder. Now what you can see is it's throwing all of my PDFs now into a single folder. So from here, I can come into my Jenny AI on the paper that I wanna write. I can come over to my library and then I can click upload source and I'm gonna upload a PDF. And I can drag or drop all of them or only the ones that I want. So I'm specifically just going to do these four and I'm going to drag and drop them in. And so it's going to now be uploading these in. So I went from my Zotero and I can just easily add the PDFs in. The benefit of adding a PDF in is then when you go to cite, you can cite within Jenny AI and it will, it will look within the PDF text to figure out what would be the best thing to cite. So I'm gonna back out of library and now if I said something like steroid isomers have shown promise and separation through metal adduction and ion mobility spectrometry. And then I'm gonna choose just do shift um, and at and it will search my citation. So it's gonna automatically pull the keywords from what I did. Here's websites, I'm gonna jump over to library. So you can see it pulled up my research article, one of the ones that I added. And so I can just click add citation and it now has added that citation in there for me. Um, and then period. So now I have it in APA 7, that's the option. So if you look up here, you can see APA, MLA, Harvard, and IEEE are the options right now in Jenny AI. So now, what if I wanted all? Because that all I did there was add the actual bib text. So what I can do is when I have all of the ones that I want to put into Jenny AI highlighted, I can right click. And what I'm gonna do is hit export items and I'm gonna choose a bib text and that's it. I'm not gonna add in any of these. Um, I don't want to include the files or the notes. You can if you want to, but I really just want the bib text. And so I'm gonna click okay. And then it's gonna ask me where I'm gonna save them and I'm just gonna save them in that file I just created. So in here you now see exported items.bib. So if I go back to my Jenny AI, I can go into library and I'm gonna upload source and I'm gonna import bib text. And that's when I'm gonna go in here and click this exported bib. So now it can take all of those citations, not just the ones that had PDFs, and it can import them in. So now I have 20 citations where I only imported in four PDFs. And you can see there, it did say it was fetching the publicly available documents. So if there are publicly available ones, it did fetch that for me. So now if I search my sources, let's pick a last name. You can see that they now exist in here. And some of them are probably duplicates, like these two up here look like they're duplicates, probably because one was a PDF that I added and one was a um, bib text or that I have added these previously as well. And I can click view to view them while I'm working on them. And I can always add them as a citation from here. So if I don't want to go through the citing, if I just want to be like ion mobility has use in clinical applications as well. And I'm just going to click add citation. And now that's added in there and I'm good there. So now I have all of this um, and now I want to get it into somewhere that I can cite with Zotero. So I'm just going to do steroid analysis and ion, ion mobility. So what I can do is I'm going to export this as a Word document and then I'm going to copy as a bib text. 
The reason I'm doing this is because you, there are multiple different citation features available, right? If I just click at, I can search through my library, which maybe came from my Zotero library, maybe came from something else I was working on. I can search journals for new things. This is powered by site. Um, or I can search websites and look at new journals and then add, there's a lot of different ways that I can do that. So what I can do is I can just copy the bib text so that I now have all of those citations, all of the ones for this document now exist. So copy as a bib text, and then I'm gonna come into Zotero and I'm going to come up here and I'm gonna just do Jenny AI tutorial, click okay. Now what I can do is I'm gonna do file import from clipboard. And now you see that those two are now in my Zotero. So here's that Word document. And you can see that these are linked, um, but they're not really linked to anything, right? So right now, if I wasn't writing an APA style, let's, let's say I needed something like Jax or something like that. This isn't super helpful for me. So what I can do is now I know the author's name and the year based off of that APA style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Zotero and I'm gonna click add edit citation and then I can choose, okay, I actually need Jax, click okay. And then I'm gonna choose Reister and Dodds 2020. And now I would need to know which one it is. It is this one. I have multiple, remove your duplicates when you're working in Zotero. Um, but I can also come in here, go to classic view, and this shows me my collections. So I know that it's this one, Reister and Dodds 2020, and I'm gonna click okay. So now that citation's added in, I can now delete this one out. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now this is manual work, right? You are gonna have to do this for all of them. It's, um, Zotero's not gonna automatically recognize I'm gonna come in here and go to classic view again and just click this one and click okay. And move my punctuations to be consistent with this style. And there you go. Now I've done that and all I have to do now is give a place for my references to go and add in my bibliography. And now I have what I've written in Jenny AI in this. Now, obviously that is a lot of extra work, right? If you would rather just like, instead of actually finding the citations and bringing them in, you could bring them into your Zotero and just leave a note, or you can cite once you're done working in Jenny AI and move it into like a Word document or something like that. But that's overall how you can move those citations from Zotero into your Jenny AI and then from Jenny AI back into your Zotero and recite in a different citation format. If you are struggling with writing a research article, download my scientific research paper checklist. It's a PDF that walks you through all the steps for how to build the framework for your research article and how to write it. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.